All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Obviously, we're going to be working on the Tundra tonight. Um, actually, the whole reason that all of this is happening, um, the person is here. So Ryan came down. It's We're blaming him for all of this stuff because he started doing cool stuff with his Tundra and said that I should do it too. So being that um, I do enjoy hanging out with my friends, especially Ryan, um, we love to drive together, but... After hearing him talk about how much fun he had in his Tundra, doing some off-road stuff, and then watching some of his stuff, um, I just, I had to do it. So, first things first, I have been going through and upgrading the lighting. Uh, the last video you guys saw, I did the Diode Dynamics fog lights. They just dropped right in. Super easy mod. It's been a, a week or so, and I could not be happier with with the, uh, the, the fog lights. Um, we talked about all the rest of the lighting upgrades I've done and things to come. Uh, tonight is that video. Tonight we're going to be putting the form lighting 2018 Sequoia style LED headlights in the Tundra. And Ryan's going to help. We're going to, you know, BS a little bit and just, you know, hang out, work on the truck. And I'll take you through some other stuff that I've realized after I show you guys these lights again. All right, guys, so one thing that I did run into that I could not find at the time was these little SZ, I think they actually call them U-Clips on Amazon. Um, I will drop a link in the description of where I found mine. This is the one plastic clip that broke on me during the fog light install that I did not have. Um, you can obviously get these from Toyota, so like that's not a big deal. These, these are kind of a universal thing when, you when Toyota has multiple splash pans that all line up in the same bolt and utilize you know the same fastener that's what they use so the good thing is i can use these on the aristo because i'm missing some on that thing too um but yeah so i found these look in the link in the description if you guys are missing any of your clips that are these little s u z clips whatever you want to call it the alphabet soup clip um but yeah th there will be a link to an amazon an amazon link in the description below so uh check that out if you guys are doing anything under your tundra all right, Ryan. So you kind of told me about these lights originally, and you're like, hey, you can do this thing. But then I talked to Diode, and the fact that they had the form version was pretty exciting because they're like half the price of OEM, maybe, maybe even less than half the price of OEM, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, because I think they were really expensive. So... Um, I did just hit them. They're still drying, but I, I got this uh, ceramic, uh, that's chemical guy stuff. I use a lot of their, their uh, products. Easy to use. This is probably the easiest ceramic you can buy. Um, basically just applicator and then wipe it off. They're still drying right now, but these lights are so beautiful and they come with everything. So you see this, this right here is your like daytime running light harness, I, th I think. And it comes with this little like fuse tap that like you pop into the fuse box. So I'm gonna figure that out and help you guys figure it out. And but then they come for for each side. They they just have this like plug and play option because there's like a main plug for each of the headlights. So this will just plug into the factory uh, plug on, under the headlights and then just plug into the new lights. And then if you remember, I painted these guys. They were a little bit of a little bit of a pain because the, the paint can wasn't great, but you can see the difference here between the two because of the shape of the headlights. So you can see the cutout where it goes, where it dips Still down. Crusty they are. Oh, yeah. I mean, these lights are terrible, but new lights are much nicer. The, the, now, I've, and now, the other part is I have cleaned these. So this isn't like I've never touched these in, you know, the, the 10 years that I've had this thing. But, um, yeah. I used to do these every time I'd wash the truck, and then I got lazy. Yeah, it shows. So, I'm going to get all of the ceramic coating off of these guys, and then get to taking apart. I, actually, I think Ryan's going to just take things apart. There we go. All right.
All right. Well, headlights are out. Um, I am going to... Yeah, headlights are out. This is the... Okay. He's got an extra. Maybe that's for something else. I don't know. All right, guys. So over here, uh, you're going to go to the fuse box. There's a 10 amp fuse at the very end here, and it's an ignition fuse. All right. So you're going to replace that to run the daytime running lights. So as soon as the ignition gets turned on, it powers up your DRLs. And what I've done is I have taken a uh, die grinder and made a little notch back here, and I am going to seal it up with a little bit, little bit of RTV just to make sure when we're off playing in the mud, we don't splash any kind of water in here. I don't think it would be an issue, and we've kind of looked at Ryan's truck, and he basically said that, like, that corner is going to be your best bet. There's also just, it's like a nice little clearing. So I routed the wire in here, plug this thing in, and then I'm gonna zip tie the wiring all up through here. This is for, like I said, the DRLs. Right here, this plugs into the new, the, the new light. All right, so I do have the auto leveling headlight system. Um, so basically all that does is it like enables you, it allows you to adjust the headlight up and down uh, from the cabin. There's a knob. Uh, the new headlights, they won't be utilizing that, which is fine with me. Again, I just set it and forget it. Once we lift the truck, we'll reset the headlights so we're not blinding people. Um, but yes, we are going to get the headlights the rest of the way in. I'm gonna zip tie everything up. Whenever you guys are doing the wiring for the DRLs, there is a harness that goes right in here that goes from side to side. It's just zip tie it up through there Make sure that it's not on any sharp edges, anything like that. Now it is insulated a little bit, but again, better safe than sorry. We're gonna get these headlights in here and start trying stuff. Okay, I wasn't filming, surprise. Uh, but Ryan got this one in and uh, yeah, you wanna talk about an updated look to this truck? It is so good. Um, it took some fighting, right? So and doing scary things for uh, um, brand new headlights. But he got them in. He got this one in. We're going to get the other one in. Um, I tied everything up with zip ties throughout the other harness so that the, the DRL harness lays like factory. And basically, that's where we're at. I'm going to get the other one in. And basically, we're going to have to flip the truck around as Ryan makes all the sound in the world. Uh, flip the truck around and we're going to flip the truck around um, and basically aim them using the door because there's really nice panels and it breaks everything up. Um, I also know where the factory were aimed so that we don't blind people. I hope. <laughs> so I'm going to get the other headlight in and we're going to flip the truck around and do some aiming and like yeah, I'm excited about these things. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay. So Ryan put the, uh, the lower garnish on and uh, we're going to use a little bit of luber plate. This thing, this can is as old as I am, if not older. Um, my dad had a, like found like a guy that had like a pallet of the white lithium and then like the black graphite style stuff. And I've had this forever. I keep a bolt in it. Ryan was just talking about the the lube bolt. What did you call it? The lube bolt. The lube bolt, yeah. So I've got a lube bolt. I, I, I just leave a bolt in there um, because it's like, you know, it fits under the cap and I keep this thing sealed up. But yeah, whenever you go on with a garnish, lube up the little uh, like nubs that are on the, on, on the outsides. And uh, that way it pops in. And if you ever need to take it back out, you don't just break it. 
because that's when things will get hairy because these are aftermarket. So you just want to treat these things as, as nice as you can. Obviously, it's a really good product, but at the same time, I would do this with factory stuff. So just treat your truck nice. It'll treat you nice, right? I mean, a little bit of lube goes a long way, I think. Uh, Ryan, there was uh, one plug that you didn't use, right? Like, mm -hmm. So tell me which one it was. I think it was a, what, what color wire was it? Purple. Okay. Violet. All right, so there's one plug you're not going to be using. Now, you would be utilizing it, I'm guessing, on a Sequoia. Um, but it's this guy right here. So on, on the other harness, you're, uh, I, I didn't realize it, but this harness doesn't actually get used um, on the Tundra. Uh, it must be for the Sequoia because these work for a Sequoia as well. Um, yeah, so this little guy right here, no idea what it's for. Uh, but on the Tundra, I don't have one, so we're not using it. In it goes, we're gonna function test this thing. Well, I'll be honest, they're not aimed bad. I think I might just try it because as you can see, like originally the factory lights, they basically filled up this second panel. Um, these might be aimed down a touch, but they're so much brighter. Um, I might not even mess with it, but if you guys notice, so on the driver's side, it is actually down a touch, which is like how they do it factory, so that you don't blind oncoming traffic. But then the passenger side is up just a touch to help with anything on the side of the road. What a good look. These headlights are sick. Um, I could not be happier. Look at these. Man. All right, so we're gonna drive it home. Determine on it if we determine if we need to aim them up at all. Um, I'm guessing we're not going to because of how bright these things are. 
but I'm thrilled. Uh, let's go for a drive. We'll see how it looks. All right, guys, we are in the truck. Man, you can see how awesome that backup light is that's in the tow hitch now, finally, as well, with the backup uh, camera. But let's talk about these headlights. They are a little bit low, but I think that's okay, considering we're going to be putting the taller tires and stuff on this thing next. So I think they're going to end up in the exact right place. But let me get this thing turned here and aimed in the parking lot and you guys can really see how awesome these are. Now mind you, there's there's even like lights in the parking lot here. These lights are killer. And once these cars go by, I'm gonna flick on the high beams and they are bananas. All right, those cars are by and we are going to be able to see for days on trails, like regular, you know, unlit roads and just driving around town. I don't think I'm going to be blinding anybody. We'll find out on the way home. Um, I think that we're going to be in good shape. All right, guys, I'm going to head home, see if we get flashed on the way home. I think we're going to be in good shape. I really hope you're enjoying the truck content. Um, I'm really enjoying working on the truck, so hopefully you are. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are looking for anything else or uh, have any questions about the Tundra or if you're thinking about getting one yourself. Let me know. I've got a lot to tell you guys about these trucks. I've had it, I've had it for since it was brand new. We're going to go off-roading. We're going to do a trip with the guys, um, go out to the uh, Natural Bridge area. My in-laws have a cabin out there. We're going to go stay with stay out there do some wheeling during the day and uh, i'll cook at night we'll just hang out get away for a weekend um i gotta settle on some wheels so guys if you have any suggestions the tundra uh bolt pattern and the fact that it has giant brakes um makes things a bit difficult but if you guys have any ideas of wheels that i should be looking into drop it in the comments below so that I can look into those and I've got a few ideas and I'm hoping that I can settle on some wheels get the wheel and tire package on uh, the next content that's going to be coming is going to be about the IS300 going to be doing a little bit of fab work some exhaust stuff um, after that we'll be back on the truck um, we do have a race car to fix still the things was missing and carrying on we got to figure that out so there's a bunch of stuff coming up I'm going to get back into the swing of things I'm really enjoying getting back into it and getting on a little bit of a schedule um, and being back with you guys. I, I, I really enjoy it. I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys soon with some more content. Stay tuned. See ya.